Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a purchase or pass. We are officially in November and we're gonna see a lot of holiday stuff coming out. And I'm gonna talk about a whole bunch of stuff today. If you are new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos five times every week, Monday through Friday, talking about all things beauty. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about this one first. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Naughty and Ice Collection. Now, last week I did a video where I used one of the liquid lipsticks that I ordered off of Ulta. And I liked it. I think it was really nice. It did bleed a little bit, but I really wanted to talk about the other items in the collection. So we have like some sweet glaze lacquers, which I think are just like pigmented glosses. We have a winter sun face palette that's $38. I'm probably gonna pass on that. That just like does not look like anything that I would use. <laughs> and then we have the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer, which retails for $34. As an oily skin girl, that is not for me. I can just see myself breaking out from that. <laughs> and then we have the lipstick, liquid lipsticks and the liners. And then we also have this glaze over shimmer top coat, which retails for $26. I think that's a little expensive, but these are super pretty. So I don't know about that, but eh, I'm kind of feeling 50, 50 on the collection. I really like the sets that are coming out with that Ulta is coming out with, with Jaclyn Cosmetics and stuff. So probably just stick with that. So this next one is the ColourPop Lucky Penny Collection. I don't know, this just feels like a March collaboration because they have four leaf clovers, but everything is like orange. My camera battery is dying. Oh my gosh, when I was changing my battery, we had trick-or-treaters come and we don't really have a lot of candy. <laughs> so we forgot to turn off our lights. A little awkward, but my dogs are now going absolutely crazy. So the ColourPop Lucky Penny Collection, like I'm not, mm, you know that like TikTok where it's like, mm, boom, that's me. Cause I'm like, this is a March collection. This is not, I just don't get this collection. I'm passing on it. All right, Dominique Cosmetics came out with this beautiful coral blossom eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is a spring collection. Oh my God, my dogs are crazy. I feel like this is a spring launch. It's so pretty, but I just feel like this is a spring launch. I really like it though. I'm probably gonna pass on it. Um, I think this is, what is this, $42, but that's a little expensive for me. Like right now, it's not really like on my list, so I am gonna pass on it, but I do think this is really, really pretty. Huda Beauty is coming out with this Rose Quartz collection. Oh my God, my dog. <laughs> we have the Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. This retails for $67. I literally have no doubt that this is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette ever, and it works amazingly. I look at the swatches and I'm like, dang. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. We also have the Silk Balm Rose Quartz Illuminating Lip Balm, interesting. And then we have the Rose Quartz Face Gloss Highlighting Dew. And then we also have like an eye brush set and stuff like that. I'm more interested in the palette. Do I need it right now? Absolutely not. It is so pretty though, but it's $67. That is so much money for an eyeshadow palette in my opinion. I have no doubt that it's really, really good because Huda Beauty rocks the house when it comes to their palettes. But like, that's just so much money. I don't know, I'm probably gonna pass on it for now, but it's definitely gonna be on like my like loves list on Sephora, like 100%. This next one, Morphe just kills is killing me because like they came out with the Disney collection. You guys know I'm a huge Disney fan. I love all things Disney. Like my the palette that I'm wearing in my eyes today, Sigma Cinderella. This palette rocks. Okay, so I've watched some reviews and whatnot. It is one of their 35 pan palettes, which is not always the best in quality. I'm just gonna be real honest. This is really, really pretty. I like the graffiti kind of style with the packaging. I think it's really cute. The main thing I really like is the hand mirror. I just think that's so cute and I would totally buy that. We also have like a, a Mega Matte Lip Trio, which I'm not gonna lie, some of these, those Mega, the Mega Matte ones, like not so much the cream ones, but the Mega Mattes are a little drying. And so I don't really like those. I don't really need more brushes, but I would definitely like the mirror. We're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and let's talk about more Disney. ColourPop has come out with the Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration. I'm just, I'm a little confused about the eyeshadow palette. Nightmare for Christmas, don't hate on me. It's not my favorite movie. I do like it. It's just not my favorite when it comes to Halloween movies. I just wanna know, ColourPop, I just wanna have a talk. Why is there not a single green in this eyeshadow palette? I'm just shocked. 
So we have the eyeshadow palette. Um, we have the Trio of Terror, which are the jelly shadows, the jelly matte shadows. Those are really cute. Uh, we have the Master of Fright Glitterly Obsessed little thing. That is so pretty, you guys. It's gorgeous. And then we have the Lux lipsticks, which I bet are phenomenal. They're my favorite lipsticks ever. And then we have some liquid liners and a blending sponge and some face crystals. I'm gonna pass on it. The only thing I would maybe consider getting is like the glitterly obsessed, like silvery glittery gel. And I'd probably buy two. I'd probably buy one for me. <laughs> and then I'd buy one for my best friend, Michaela, cause she's like all in it. She sent me a screenshot of it on Ult on Friday and she's like, oh my God, I need this. I'm like, I need it too. Next one here is the Long Home and Emily in Paris collaboration. I've never seen Emily in Paris. Is it good? I just think there was so much potential with this eyeshadow palette. That's why I wanted to mention it. I just like, I don't really have like, I don't really, I don't know this show, but I just think there is more to the eyeshadow palette. That's why I wanted to mention this in the, the whole thing. Like the lipsticks are gorgeous. The Genifique serum is really good. I've tried it before. I think it's great, right? But the eyeshadow palette, it looks really ashy. It's, 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 ah, like I don't like, I know it sounds really bad, but like Lancome could have totally done something amazing and they kind of just didn't. It looks a little cheap, but yeah, I'm going to be passing on that. I just wanted to kind of like mention it because I was just like, what? Come on, Lancome, you could have done so much better. And next thing I wanted to talk about were these absolutely beautiful um, Sunscape Highlighters by M Cosmetics. Wow. Talk about metallic here. These are gorgeous. Um, I'm going to pass on them because I have a lot of highlighters. I have a lot of makeup, so I need to be really picky with what I buy, but I would love to try M Cosmetics in the future, and I would definitely purchase these. So I saw on Ulta that ColourPop came out with this Charmed I'm Sure collection. We have these four eyeshadow palettes. We have Bling Time, which is peaches and browns. We have Glam Right which is fresh pinks and soft roses, locked down, which is hot magenta and purples. And then we have charm school, which is silver and gold shades. They're $14 each. We also have like crystal sets. What is with the face crystals? I don't get it, <laughs> but I am going to be passing on them. They look a little lackluster and I am waiting for like the color pop holiday collection to come out. And so I'm going to pass on those and just kind of like wait for the official color pop collection. So Ulta Beauty, like Ulta Beauty collection, like the Ulta Beauty makeup collaborated with Pixar. This wasn't like, I was a little shocked cause like I'm normally used to like seeing ColourPop collaborate with like, um, with Disney, not Ulta, which they do do with Marvel, but I guess they're doing a Pixar too. And they have three collections. So they have the Toy Story collection, the Finding Nemo collection and the Monsters Inc collection. Now Ulta Beauty collection, their makeup, is not my favorite always. They do have some gems, but not always. So in the Toy Story set, we have like an eyeshadow palette, a candle, a lip set, and a bag. For the Finding Nemo set, we have an eyeshadow palette, lip set, brush set, body lotion, and body wash. I think that's really fitting for Finding Nemo. Good idea. And then we have Monsters Inc, which is the eyeshadow palette, lip set, makeup, brunch, makeup sponges set, and blush. I really like the Monsters Inc palette. And I also really like the Finding Nemo palette. Honestly, I don't need any of that. I don't need any of this makeup, but it is really cute. So I don't know, like I'd maybe consider it, but maybe not, I don't know. I don't get it. It's Makeup Revolution and Friends. They're doing a Thanksgiving theme. They've done so many collections. I don't understand, like with Friends. Okay, I think you kind of, you're, you're beating a dead horse. You're just beating a dead horse. It's time to just like move on. They have pumpkin themed stuff. Like, like I feel like Makeup Re Revolution, I heard Ali Dawson say this, but Makeup Revolution is low key becoming the new color pop. Am I right? I don't know. Just not vibing, not vibing. Juvia's Place is coming out with their holiday collection. I love the color scheme on this. Something about this just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I love it. <laughs> um, there isn't really no name to it. It's just their holiday 2021 collection. Um, they have, oh, it's I Live, I Love. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I have never really tried a whole lot of, I don't think I've tried like any Juvia's Clip Place besides their foundation, which I didn't really like. But these eyeshadow palettes are low-key killing it. 
And what is it with me and eyeshadow palettes? I need to stop. Like, this is too much. I like that brush set, too. That's super pretty. I don't know. I'm probably going to pass on it right now because I just need to, like, kind of narrow in on, like, what am I actually going to buy? Because I always want to go crazy for the holiday season, but, like, I can't. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Next, the ColourPop of Quartz collection, or the Quartz collection. Quartz is more than just smoky tones. We have rose quartz and stuff like that, you know? We could have added some of that in there. I'm so sassy today, I'm sorry. But we have the Nine Pan Eyeshadow Palette. We have some pressed glitter shadows. Those look really pretty. I bet that's a new formula that they're gonna come out with for holiday. Let's bet right now. <laughs> and then we have three lippy sticks. I love the lippy sticks, they're amazing. And then we have two cream gel colors, which are like the cream gel liners kind of thing. I'm passing on it. I I just want to wait. I want to wait till the holiday. You know, I want to wait till holiday comes, you know? Um, I was looking at Ulta today, and I just wanted to mention these couple of items here before we kind of wrap up the video. So Jaclyn Cosmetics has this Sweet Glaze Lip Lacquer Trio. So it retails for $39. I really like this. I think this is very pretty. And so I'm not, I'm kind of confused because it says this Jaclyn Cosmetics Sweet Glaze Lip Lacquer Trio is like her signature liquid lipsticks and a gloss in one smooth swipe. Very cool. So we have like a high impact pigment, a glossy finish. So it's very like a high, highly pigmented lip gloss. I want this. I'm considering buying this. This is very good. And I really want to try out more of her stuff. So perfect. Perfecto. I love it. And then NYX. You guys, me and vaults. Like, I know. I know, I get it. I get it, I'm really bad. Okay, but <laughs> the Gimme Superstars Butter Lip Gloss Vault from NYX. How many of these do they have? Are these full size? Now midi and bundled. So midi is like mid-size, I would say maybe. Look full size in the screenshots. I feel like I love the butter glosses with all of my heart. I think that's an amazing gloss. It's 50 bucks. But I need to see if, I need to know if they're full size, first of all. If they're not full size, I'm not gonna buy, I would not buy it. But if it was full size, I would consider it. Do I need that much lip gloss in my life? Absolutely not. Do I want that much lip gloss in my life? Absolutely. <laughs> I saw this and I thought, you know what? This is amazing and we need to talk about it, okay? The Clinique Create Your Own Happy Fragrance Set. So, I have Clinique My Happy Indigo Mist Fragrance. It's like a fresher fragrance. It smells so good. I think this was like $25. Uh, very cheap. But you can get all six of, the t of these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful My Happy um, fragrances. You can layer them. Um, so we have the My Happy Peony Picnic, which is floral. My Happy Lily of the Beach, which is floral, warm, and spicy. I know that one's good. <laughs> I've smelled that one. That one's very good. We also have Cocoa and Cashmere, which is warm and spicy. Indigo Mist, which is fresh, which is what I have. Uh, Baby Bouquet, which is floral. And Cookies and Kisses, which is warm and spicy. I want this. I am really getting into perfume. And these are like, like this is like a smaller size. Like this is the size that they would be. So like, I want this. I want this set. It retails for $79.50. I want this. Do I need it? Absolutely not, but I do want it, so. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Sorry for the chaos with the dogs. Here we are. Uh, let me know what you wanna see next. Should I review any of these things? What should I get? What should I pass on? What are you gonna pass on this time around? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna go clean my house, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.